Hello, welcome to another episode of Talk Mode and if you listened to last week, you know I'm on this self-reliance kick idea whatever you want to call it that's what we're focusing on right now and i think it's time with spring around the corner to ditch the supermarket aisles and get our hands dirty that's right i'm talking about growing our own groceries now before you start picturing a uh, huge farmland and full blown homestead that's not what i'm talking about i know we a lot of us don't have a lot of sp- space so i want to talk about today realistic budget friendly ways to cultivate your own food independence right here in the uk now forget all the fancy greenhouses and expensive equipment we're talking more about balcony gardens and windowsill herbs it's about starting small and having fun and enjoying the satisfaction of growing your own delicious healthy food plus let's be honest the supermarket prices are getting crazier and crazier every day so a little homegrown goodness is good for the wallet as well so how do you get started well i'm on on a little bit of a journey myself we started doing some things last year uh didn't go that well but here's a few tips that can help you get started so first of all you got to know your zone figure out your planting zone it's just a fancy way of saying what grows well in your climate so here in the uk certain plants just don't grow well certain vegetables fruit just don't grow well so you got to find out what grows well you can find this out online or at your local garden center and this will help you choose the plants that are going to thrive and not just survive in your neck of the woods number 2 sunlight savvy So you got to assess your space. Do you have a, a a sunny balcony or like a corner of your garden that's really sunny or uh if maybe it's a shady window sill knowing how much sunlight your space gets will determine what you can grow. So for example, herbs like mint and basil love the sun. So you want to put that in that sunny corner or that one window that gets a lot of sun in your house. Or if you're looking at like leafy greens like uh, lettuce They they're okay in some shade. So maybe like if you've got two halves of garden, that put your plants that need more sun on one side and put your plants that need less sun on the other side. It's pretty straightforward, really. Number 3, start small but think big. So don't go overboard and plant like a whole allotment in your whole garden. Just start with a few pots or containers and maybe put some herbs on your windowsill. a couple of tomato plants if that's what you that's what you're into and as you start growing a few things and gain a bit of confidence and experience you can then start expanding the the farm essentially now obviously it, it costs a lot to get started sometimes you know if you if you want to start getting pots and whatever it starts becoming really expensive so my fourth uh tip is to repurpose and recycle So get creative with your containers, man. Old yogurt pots, milk cartons, um old uh, like containers like just a uh, Tupperware. They can all be transformed into like mini planters or mini pots and you can upcycle, reuse and save money while reducing waste. So it's a win-win on, on that part. Number 5, be seed savvy. So seeds are your budget-friendly friends. Head to your local garden center or online seed suppliers for a variety of options. Now, if you don't have the money at the moment, I'd start with uh with the uh, taking seeds out your existing fruit and veg that you buy. Try and take the seeds from there and give that a go. Yeah, but that might not necessarily work. Definitely long term, I would suggest going online and picking up some heirloom seeds. Um that's going to give you the best quality that you're going to find. But whatever you do i would start with some easy to grow veggies like lettuce spinach and tomatoes uh and don't forget to save the se- seeds from this year's harvest for next year number 
community is key. So I, I'd connect with other gardeners, urban gardeners uh, in your area. Maybe there's a, a like a Facebook group or online forum. Um, and maybe there's a community garden in your area. So you can go there, get some tips, maybe swap some seeds with your neighbours. And you can share your knowledge and they can share theirs with you. And maybe you can even swap a few veggies. You know, if someone's growing, if your neighbour's growing tomatoes, but you're growing lettuce, then you guys can share that between yourselves. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Tip number seven. Gardening isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Literally, sometimes it's pissing it down. So pests, weeds, unexpected challenges, they can all arise. But don't get discouraged. Research solutions, troubleshoot, and learn from your mistakes. Remember, even pros have a bad time gardening sometimes. Um, I can tell you, like, last year, <laughs> I planted two rows two rows of brown onions and supposedly they're quite easy to grow i promise you not one onion grew and i'm not entirely sure what went wrong so maybe i just planted them too late i don't know but i'm gonna try again this year and see how it goes number eight just celebrate the journey growing your own food is an adventure not a race so enjoy the process marvel at the tiny miracles of nature and savor the taste of your homegrown harvest Trust me, man, when you see those shoots coming out of the ground and you manage to harvest your first, like, vegetable, it's such a rewarding experience. So there you have it. Nice and easy, straightforward and simple. Remember, growing your own food doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. With a little bit of planning and creativity and just some good old-fashioned grit, you can cultivate your own food independence and enjoy the fruits and veggies of your labour. Now go forth. And get your hands dirty. Let's grow a greener, tastier future, one seed at a time. Man, that's all for today. Listen, remember, the whole point of this is to grow our self-reliance and stop relying on the supply chain and all of that stuff, you know, because we don't know what's going to happen the next day. So I'd rather be self-reliant than rely on someone else. So growing a little bit of food, even if it's just supplementing your grocery shop, I think it's a really good idea. Let me know what you're doing, what you're growing. And if you do, if I inspired you to grow something, man, then you know what? Yo, send the pictures over, man. At Wahab Originals on uh, Instagram, just tag me in your garden pictures. I'll be really interested to see them. Thank you very much for listening. You take care. Goodbye.